Hello SGD, this video will be an addendum to one I posted last night uh, on the casing stones of a Great Pyramid. So as the Great Pyramid as it is now, except for a few here and there along the very lowest level of the Great Pyramid, all the casing stones have been removed. It would be something more like this originally. And so there's the north side and the casing stones will come to them. Uh, now I've got got sent a couple of photos and I found a few others as well just to help um, highlight some of these features so again the, back in the day before the dam when the flood was still a thing and so that some of the older photos when the rubble was still up right up against the base and then later when it was cleared out uh, probably if it's still right up against the base or been uh, cleared away just to open the base for surveying it's the 1837 uh, illustration Howard Weiss from the Piazzi Smythe uh, collection. But uh, so this is one of the uh, photos I found. And 1909 casing blocks at the base of a Great Pyramid, uh, joints otherwise indiscernible and indicated by charcoal lines. So that's why the thick black lines are there. Those aren't gaps. That's just that they've drawn them in. Uh, this was a photo sent to me by Stefan. T, uh, also one on the uh, south side, but this gives a uh, good angle. But also, notice this one here, we still have a lot of rubble, junk, uh, has buried the base of a pyramid, so this is before it was cleared away, before they could do a very accurate uh, survey. This would have to be even before uh, uh, Flinders Petrie did his survey, and, and then later the J.H. Cole survey. We see the rubble there, and we also see it here. So the pyramid was around the base, very much buried in uh, sand, not just large blocks of rubble, but even small bits of rubble. And so this all had to be cleared out before the first surveys could accurately be undertaken. But we'll also notice some of these. So this is the north face, and you see the condition after the, just after the, shortly after they were excavated, and we'll see how they look later. So Thanks to Stefan T for sending me this photo. Uh, here's another one um, I was able to find. And at first I thought that someone had drawn these in, you know, for the magazine or whatever that they were published in. But I would guess it was probably charcoal lines that they've drawn just to discern the cracks between them. But uh, this one's particularly interesting because we see a really good angle of this large piece that's missing here from the north side casing stones. We also get a top-down view of this... Uh, whether it was a shut, maybe they were looking to find, you know, in the olden days, so they were looking for the entrance, because you always look on the north side for a pyramid entrance. And the Great Pyramid is unusual in that the chambers and the passenger, passages are high up in the pyramid. Typically, the pyramids are, the, the chambers and shafts are at or below uh, ground level. So uh, I don't exactly know what's going, mate. That's just one idea, because it's pretty much dead on in the middle on the northern side which would be the perfect place to look for it and most other pyramid entrances are in or around this area sort of quite low but it does give a added because in the last video I mentioned it and you can see it here but we didn't really couldn't see the depth of it as opposed to this version where we get and as I'll show in a moment so the sockle or the paving stones which is there is uh, about 55 centimeters uh, give or take a fraction which is essentially one cubit so it's over half a metre, so you get an idea of the scale from the guy standing here. So this stone there is well over a metre thick. And then we have, see into the darkness down there inside that passage. Now how, or chasm, excavation, whatever was going on there. Um, now that's bedrock. So the sockle, the paving stones, we see along there. And then we have the bedrock underneath. So exactly, maybe this stone was put in, as so I don't know what's going on there, but just we get a better view of it. So again, that's that. Okay, so we see that chip, big chunk that's been taken out. We see it here as well, and we see the trench, whatever's going on in that position. Uh, now later on, so if we go back to this one again, we can see the a lot of work. So this chunk has been filled in, and there's been a lot of work, uh, plastering, mortaring, whatever it is, to fill up all of these marks here on the uh paving stone. So now we see where it's pretty much been cleaned up. It's still black and white. 
that's a screenshot from Google Earth, so there is a big chunk missing, but now that's been repaired, and all of this section has been uh, repaired, restored. Again, so this is where the big chunk should be missing, just below the shot there is where that trench, chasm, whatever it is, and so again there's just another angle of the field to visit now, so that's where that trench, chamber, pit, whatever it was, is now all well and truly filled up, and the pavings, the casing stones north side look very smooth. Okay, so there's the old photos. So there's the Howard Weiss era um, and Piazzi Smythe illustration and a comparison to this 1909 photo. Again, the dark lines are just to, uh, with charcoal to highlight the the gaps. Now there's the again rubble on this one and a lot of the pyramid still buried at the base over here. But again, we see that and how much has been repaired in this particular part of the stone. Is so again now we see still just under right underneath there you can even get a bit of idea but that's what we have here and you do get a sense of it in this patch over there and also this so again you see the gap a big chunk taken out and the erosion lines wear lines um, weathering lines there and you get an idea of they are there we'll get a I'll do a better comparison shortly Okay, but now I can just compare the how it is now and how it was. Can you see the field to go there now? That's what it's looking like. It's on the north side. So we have these features still there. That little chunk missing from the corner. These little pieces just to show the continuity. Now, uh, here again, here's that other photo. Again, we see those features. I just mark them out so as it was excavated those red circle parts are still there and we get a good idea much better idea of what this missing chunk was we can see it and that's compared to what it is now this piece has been entire that's not the original casing stone that's a repair and also again you see that pit just to give a better angle so i bring in this photo again you can see that I've sorry, sorry, just shifted it from now to the bottom corner, but so if you see the green area, well, that's what it looks like now. You can see it there. Uh, the facing of these stones here, they seem pretty much untouched. So they do have these weathering, horizontal weathering lines, and they are still there. But the rest of the stone here on the north side casing, is being repaired as well so along the bottom you can still see the weathering lines but what's inside the purple square is all been restored repaired uh, however you want to think about it so this is a photo uh, thanks to Stephen T again for sending me this one and so what we see is exactly the same part of the northern casing stones but he's looking east so you can see how much like this a lot of repair work done, you get a good idea of just how deep those erosion cut marks, groove marks are in comparison. So that's on the north side looking east, and that's on the north side looking west. This is from Google Earth, so I've just done a comparison, so it's a very similar view. Now, that's all rubble, deep, and now that's all being cleared out so everything here in this building in the background that would all be obscured by where the debris and rubble was and from these parts of the cycle and the damage there you can still see it and so i've just photoshopped him in where he that's where the photo was and that's where he's seated so this portion and there below you can see it has still in original condition from the uh, excavations in the early 20th century but the casing stones itself so all of this which even from here is quite rough you can see it's all smoothed well that's all a repair or a restoration okay. right. only those so looking east looking west uh, 
and again just an idea so that cycle 55 centimeters uh give or take essentially in the egyptian cube it's 52 centi 52.3 centimeters and so you get an idea of how deep this trench is and i'm guessing this stone was like the, the hole was much larger and this is this has been pushed in as a plug because that's all broken shattered uh carved out paving stone that doesn't have this block fit in precisely and again just how it is how it was and how it is now and again just a different get the view from looking slightly side on and a more top view comparison again the big missing piece okay so this is the jh cole survey 1925 and he shows the different conditions of the casing stones so a which is on the north side up along here they're the uh, best preserved that's the ones we just saw okay now these are all on the north side again the north side and that's al Mamun's entrance and the main entrance pyramids with one exception way way down the most southerly pyramid has a southern entrance every other pyramid has a northerly entrance that's the northern case okay but uh, eastern side that's i showed in the video yesterday even the older and again matches the uh, C so and D okay but that's what on the there's only a couple stones casing stones very bad condition on the eastern side and now we see I and J so again I and J on the western side and just a response like uh, Larry from the AIP channel mentioned these but I've looked closely at it again and so just like on the eastern side the western side casing stones are in the same pretty miserable condition but there are these pieces here now but if you do look uh, closer at them so okay now that's a google street view you can see one two and three but uh, you can see there's formwork there and there's even like a cement there at the bottom now the Google Street View doesn't give you the best view, but I'll go back to the uh, Mike Haddock video, and you can see that, apart from the formwork, but the side-on view, you can notice that the different colours there, that these, uh, and this applies to all the other sections, these have been restored. And so that part, which you see here and there, now if I just go to the next one. So what we just saw was this piece. Okay, but we have two other pieces there on the western side and this is a front view again you can see the formwork where they've been repaired and if you do that side on view as well i haven't been able to get it i found a really good shot and then uh, in google images and then i didn't save it now i can't refind it but just like with this one you can see that from the side on view if you look uh one side it's a bit tidier but if you're looking if you're standing on the north side of them looking south you can see that there has these smooth sides have been repaired okay so that's it um just an addendum to the last one but yes yeah, so over oh no there's one more piece where yes the southerly face now i in the video i mentioned that they're all i said all but non-existent and so you see on even the jh cole survey shows that they're again in very terrible condition and stefan t as well sent me this photo so they you can see that that just like this shape here where they've just been sort of gouged out chewed out from a lot of erosion ha happening there ha some repair work uh, but quite obvious repair work and again horizontal uh, erosion in all around the base of this pyramid so far everywhere i've seen on the Giza plateau pretty much with the exception of the sphinx enclosure the natural stone the architectural stone has horizontal or wind-blown erosion um but uh any anyway, yeah so that's just so whether it's north south east or west north was in the best condition but the the east and the westerly pretty bad condition even what's remaining and the south is the, the worst of them all in terms of uh how it still remains so just to show just an addendum yet yeah, to the last one west pretty bad east pretty bad north good in some even but even the worst part of the north is 
uh, a lot better or at the very least equal to the east and the west. So anyway, have a good one. Casing stones.